What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it was a random matchup against Immoral Thieves. Uh, very, very good matchup for once. Um, you know, the town hall, town hall seemed very on par, the hero levels, everything. Uh, obviously, Immoral Thieves is an awesome clan, part of the DWA as well. Uh, I believe, I hope I'm right on that. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm right on that. And um, yeah, it was a tough, tough war. I thought we had it in the bag. Came down to percentage. We lost by, oh, what is that? About 0.9%, point, uh, yeah, 9, 7% if my math is on. So really, really tough one, right? And uh, I'm pretty sure we had this in the bag. It was a little bit of greed, if you ask us on our part, that cost us the loss, I think. You look down here, we only had a one star, one of their lower town hall tens, and we had four attacks on that base. All of them were triple attempts, including the first hit. That just comes, that shows our lack of experience because you need to secure that safe two star before you start going for these triples. Otherwise, this happens, right? That one star, and if you look, if you guys see it, fingers is base. It's an anti three star, so an easy two that that was there, and we didn't take it, and it came down to the last. You know, Mofo was the fourth, ugh, fourth hit on that base. Yes, he had to wait until the last. This attack was in the remaining seconds of the war. He had the three star hit plan. Now the way the war was going at that point in time was it looked like they had a town hall 11 attack left. We were pretty positive they were going to nail the three star and dirty Italian. And if they did, we were going to have to get another three star for the victory because we were not going to win by a tie. So at the end of the war, yeah, uh, Mofo waited till the very last second. We saw them fail on Dirty, but it was too late to change to a two-star attack. Um, so Mo just had to go for three and unfortunately came up a little bit short. No no one's fault there, uh, but it was our fault for not securing that safe two-star earlier on. Um, I'm not 100% sure uh, exactly why we didn't <laughs> just get the two stars. Uh, the first three attacks were all three-star attacks. Uh, which fell short, and uh, obviously we don't expect everyone to always nail their three stars, but at some point in time, right, one of the tens or something, someone's got to say something and go and get in there and be like, guys, we need to secure this safe two star, then we'll start tripling uh, things. So tough one is what it is, but again, like I had mentioned in the last video, that it, the lack of experience, I believe, uh, really shines through sometimes in these because uh, when it comes down to something like that, it is a heartbreaker. You look at that, um, you know, let's look at this base real quick. Easy two star for most town hall tens. Town hall is right on the outside there, only one compartment in. Do a little bit of a queen walk, combine everything, go into that town hall. Easy 50%. Like, look, these army camps, free percentage on the outside. Easy two star, in my opinion, and we should have taken it. And if we did, we would have had the victory. But unfortunately, we did not. And it cost us big time because it uh, came down to the percentage and we didn't have it on percentage. So tough one, guys. But, uh, you know, we live and learn. We pick up and we move on. Um, been a hell of a week for us. Um, one thing I want to say. Uh, I've been in 2.0 family for about eight months. I think I joined last June. I have never seen this string of losses between our two clans uh, ever, right? And it's tough. And you go through something like this, and I believe this is a really, really important uh, time for 2.0 because it really shows character of members in the clan. It shows, uh, it shows or not how how strong your clan is as a family because it is quite easily. Quite easy, sorry, for people to get down on each other, um, especially a group of guys, right? That you think, you know, I've been in this clan. I feel like everyone in, in 2.0 are my good friends, right? But most of them I've never even met in, in real life. I've maybe chatted with on Discord or TeamSpeak, and it's about it, right? Like, these are people that you don't really know. So going through tough times um, in the clan, it's quite easy for everyone to get down on each other. However, I will say this. 
I am blown away at how positive the entire clan is in our line chats, in the game chats, in everything. Everyone's just trying to help everyone. No one's getting down on each other. No one's getting upset with each other. We just are all in the same understanding and in the same boat that we are learning and getting better. Um, and everyone's just going to help each other get there. And I just want to say I would not choose to be with any other group of guys, 2.0, both 2.0 and Invicta and obviously Swarm, the whole chain. You guys are my family and it is just awesome to see just just how how well we're taking such a, a I don't know the way to describe it. Such a, a crummy time, a dark, darker time for our family because we've never taken a string of losses like this. And I believe in the history of 2.0. Never mind. I mean, I've only been here for eight months. Obviously, the clan's been the clan for longer than that. But I'm pretty confident in saying uh, this is a milestone uh, for us, and we are going to pick up and move past this. Um, and I just want to say, you know, 2.0 guys, I love you, all of you. Uh, all the way down the chain. So keep it up. Keep positive. We're going to break through this. Uh, Invicta's in the middle of an arranged matchup right now and is looking very good. Uh, hopefully they pull that one out. Uh, and then uh, 2.0 has another arranged one too. So we're not going to stop, guys, just because because we take a few losses in a row here, um, something that's very uncharacteristic for us. That doesn't mean we're going to stop. That doesn't mean anything. It means That means we need to do more and we need to practice more and we need to get more comfortable um, making the calls on what tends to hit and, and when, when to triple and, and what to do. So, guys, we're going to move forward and we're going to get past this. And we, I think we already are. So, enough on that. Let's jump into a few of these awesome replays. You know, uh, I also want to say hats off to Immoral Thieves. You know, uh, although I do, I do think we should have definitely had that victory in the bag as a 2.0 because that just... Ah, it kills me looking at it. Um, Moral Thieves had some awesome bases. We had to use a few bully attacks on their nines. Uh, so we didn't clear the nines as well. That's that's another uh, shortcoming, right? We didn't give the tens the full amount of attacks they deserve to have on those tens. But, uh, you know, Moral Thieves did a really good job. So hats off to them and congrats. Uh, let's just jump right in here. Uh, number three, Mofo, the man. So glad to have you back. I've said this before and I will say it again, I promise, because it is a pleasure having you back, my friend. Uh, goes ahead and opens things up with a little bit of a queen walk here. <clears throat> Goal is to just get into this nook. You see that air defense? It is in range of this nook. So he wants to take down that air defense and then just continue on. So we're going to times two some of these. Boom, 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 boom. Down goes the air defense. Everything's looking good. Queen's going to hike around here, work her way up here, open up that wall, get into that next air defense. Where did you drop the wall breakers there? I didn't see that the first time. And opened up that wall back there. Hmm. A little surprised at why he did that. But whatever. So Queen's down. Oh, there's the jump. Maybe he's going to drop the Golem in there. Yeah, that's right. Golem and King go in. They're going to jump in here, take out this little section of base. Oh, he wants to get the Queen. That's how he gets the defensive Queen. Raises it up. Raises it up. Raises it up. There it goes. Down goes the defensive Queen. Awesome. Inferno Tower goes down too. So beautiful job on that opener. Uh, takes care of everything he needed to take care of. In come the Lava Hounds. In come the Balloons. Down go the Haste. Everything looking good. Hound goes over, everything's moving in, freeze goes down, see you later, everything under the raise, the last haste goes down to push everything on top of that expo, he's even got that queen alive still doing cleanup for him, nice freaking attack mo, I shouldn't have times two that whole thing, but still look pretty, nonetheless, it is cleanup time, <clears throat> beautiful. Treat stars in the bag. Nice. Uh, number five. Bit of a bully. Again, I, I've said in some previous videos, I, I like to show still some of these Town Hall 11 bullies. It's still a very, very, very new thing. Um, eventually, this will probably stop once it's becoming a standard uh, kind of standard issue bully. Uh, but, you know, from seeing it in war against a good anti three star, it's not just, it's not always just drop a bunch of witches and go. Um, that happens <laughs> on quite a few attacks, uh, but it's not, it's easier said than done, uh, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. Because, you know, you got it, you got to come up with a plan still, you got to figure out, well, if he's got two maxed uh, multi infernos, 
uh, you know, max heroes, you better have a plan other than just spamming a bunch of witches because you're not going to come away with the three star just because you got a warden in there and max witches. But check it out here. Pinto is kind of going to continue to walk all the way up around this section. Explore that a little bit. In comes the goal. I'm going to close off this walk now. Jump goes down. Everything's going to move in. As soon as that mortar goes down, Golem's going to reroute as well. All those witches with all the skeletons just going to work into this base. Really needs to get that whiz tower down. Otherwise, those skeletons are done for. Uh, I like the kind of earthquake placement there too. It opens up a huge, 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 huge piece of the base. So now the skeletons have access to pretty much everything. Um, a big piece of the witches is allowing your witches to have access to the base. Similar, similar ish to Valks in a sense, where you need to make sure they have access to a big, big piece of the base. You do not want those skeletons getting caught on walls, otherwise the mortars and Teslas, or sorry, mortars and whiz towers are just gonna light them up. But when they have access and they can get right to the Inferno, the multi infernos get right to those wizard towers, there's just it's just overwhelming for them, right? And it doesn't stand a chance with the Grand Ward in there. He's already burnt that ability, kind of push everything through that core, which is great. Queen is still up, untouched with the ability, so just looking pretty. This is pretty much GG from this point. Bam, bam, bam. Down it goes. Last little line of defense is there, and it's GG for this base. Nice little bully by Pentasaur here. <coughs> no disrespect to Oblique. I just don't get to show a lot of Town Hall 11 attacks, and that's obviously something that people are looking for these days because it's a newer thing and people want to learn how to uh, how to really take control and uh, bully those 10s using their uh, Grand Warden. So, again, no offense, Oblique. Sorry. <laughs> you, I, my, everyone knows I don't like showing bully attacks and uh, the point when I feel that Town Hall 11 attacks uh, are officially bullies and very you know a very very common thing I don't know I don't know if I'm wording that right but you guys know what I'm saying Until, once it's not a new thing anymore I'm definitely gonna not show those anymore so anyways uh, moving on South Fence, another TH10 triple here. So this is obviously a little bit newer of a TH10, but South Fence makes short work of it. I love this uh, love this attack. He brings two golems, which is very heavy for a TH10 triple. Um, usually you want to try and do no golems if possible or um, some sort of walk, maybe with one golem. But uh, anyhow, see kind of this workout. One thing I did notice is... Uh, no queen walk here, right? Like usually a queen walk or queen charge, take care of those air defenses or take care of something is a big piece of Town Hall 10 tripling. Not in this case. This is basically a standard shattered Lalo on a Town Hall 10, which I thought was really cool. Um, queen's going to take uh, care of that Lava Hound standing on that rage. Has a little help from a wizard there, which is nice. And bam, see you later. Can you take care of those pups? Just got to get rid of that balloon too. Really needs to get that uh, multi-inferno tower down. It is down. See you later. So everything's going to continue working. This core is getting great push from his kill squad there. The queen is still mopping up those pups. But as soon as that last one goes down, she's going to continue on. See you later, skeletons. <laughs> There's just so much for her to get through. Finally steps up, finishes off that air defense. I think he needs to step down and take up this air defense at the same time. Uh, don't know if he's going to get it, actually. I don't remember if he does. I don't think he does. couple more shots on that king. Oh, no, he's definitely not going to get that air defense locks on in that clan castle. Uh, so that must have been a scary moment here for self defense because you really probably wanted that air defense to go down because he only brought the three Lava Hounds, and that's a scary thing against the Town Hall 10, um, even though it's mostly Town Hall 9 defenses here. Um, obviously, a brand new Town Hall 10, we'll call it. Uh, but the hounds are in, right? Those max hounds really doing uh, doing work on those Town Hall 9 air defenses. Uh, balloons are all in. Haste are down in a horseshoe. Everything's looking pretty dandy at this point. Just got to get that last Lava Hound over to the air defense that he had hoped to go down in the first place. But probably a little preemptive on uh, this haste and these balloons on this side. But it doesn't matter. He's got way too many for the rest of this base. Few more defenses to go down. Just really got to get that air defense down. Down it goes. Down goes the Tesla. Down goes the Wizard Tower. G G for this base. South fence, the man. He's really, really, really been stepping it up. South fence is just farming like crazy. Already got those max heroes. Uh, it only seemed like yesterday this guy was uh, beasting at Town Hall nine, and now he's uh, already stepped up to Town Hall ten here. So nice job, South fence. Tree stars in the bag. 
Um, what was next? Nine? Nightmare. Love this guy. My Town Hall 9 Idol. It's a nightmare. Um, usually brings a lot of uh, Valk attacks, but decides to change things up a little bit here, right? Does a little Zapquake action on that air defense there. Uh, as well, got a Sweeper, I believe. No, not a, not a Sweeper. What was that there? Am I blind? So I should pay attention. <laughs> uh, anyhow, so Shattered Entry here. Doesn't bring much uh, to back it up, right? Only a few wizards, only his king. Just wants to jump in here and take care of this air defense. Uh, which all is perfectly fine and dandy here. And I believe he gets the sweeper as well. Because the queen's about to step up and help out. Really got to bust through that lava hound as quick as possible. Uh, I believe rages up his king. Takes care of that air sweeper. The wizard's even in there helping out. Really got to bust down. I, lava hounds are so annoying at times. Really just kind of hang your queen up for a long time, uh, especially if you don't have a rage for them. Um, but no big deal. It's about to burst. Down it goes. Uh, it's got to mop up those pups, and then in come the dragons. I uh, believe he just kind of funnels them off around this uh, queen chamber here. Queen steps up, takes care of that Tesla. Finally takes care of that last pup. Boom, boom, boom. Takes care of that air defense. Got to get through that clan castle, but not going to happen. Reaches it up and boom, last air defense down. There we go. So not one air defense is remaining for this base. Uh, really good read on that. Uh, use the little zap quake, one, two, three right there. Who cares about the queen chamber when the rest of your army is dragons? Because it don't matter. <clears throat> um, let's be honest, guys. Town Online is clearly substantially easier these days. Um, the extra 30 seconds, the extra spell make the tax like this viable you know six months ago you would never see an attack like this maybe not never but rarely ever because you know dragons just weren't viable right you didn't have that that uh, extra zap quake possible um you had to worry about the clan castle troops because you didn't have poison right so obviously town hall nine is slowly getting phased out because it, it's really 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 um Dying, not dying, but it's it's a lot easier, substantially easier, right? But that doesn't mean it's a guaranteed three star. You still need to be creative with your attack. You need to break the base down properly. You need to bring the right army. Otherwise, you're not just going to three star. You can't just throw whatever you want at a max nine and expect a three star. So don't get me wrong when I say that. It's just for guys that were already there breaking those bases down, it gave them so many more options. Because you can just do do attacks like this. If you can get all four air defense, why not just bring nine dragons and throw it to the base? I mean, it's a lot less tactful, but it, it's like I said, it gives the attacker more options here. So nice job, Nightmare. Very sexy attack. Good read. I like the uh, one, two, three air defense there with the zap quake. One dragon remaining. Beautiful. Two stars in the bag. Eight dragons, two balloons. Zap quake, the poison still. <laughs> Like, this was never possible before. So, RIP Town Hall 9. Uh, I think I got, yeah, let's go down the map a touch. I mean, you guys like seeing some diversity on the map uh, positioning here. So, Cracker, uh, as Cracker, brings um, <laughs> a go. Valalo. Uh, kind of a cool attack here. I thought this was really neat. So two Lava Hounds, two Golems. Uh, six Valks and ten Balloons. So not a lot of back-end units, but he doesn't need it. So Wall Break is going to be clean here. Open things up. Boom. See you later. He's going to open up this whole compartment. He's going to jump right into this core compartment because that queen standing right on the edge of this wall is going to hop over uh, into, this, into these compartments here. So... <laughs> there goes that jump I'm gonna push everything into this core at the same time when you look he's gonna get I believe get one two three air defense so that's why he only brings the two lava hounds and ten balloons maybe he doesn't get this far one down goes the balloon 
down goes everything. CC is now taken care of. Got those golems in there. Yeah, does get that air defense. Boom. So one, two, three air defense are down. Defensive queen is down. Still has Valks in there doing work. Still has golems in there doing work on that Tesla farm. But in come the hounds. So two lava hounds for one air defense. Absolutely perfect. Good read on that. And then sprinkling balloons in all around the edge. Haste goes in to help take care of things. Push everything onto that Tesla. Just got to get all those balloons in on that on that last air defense and it is gg queen's in there helping out too nice job cracker very good read on this base a couple more defenses remaining but other than that it's cleanup time wiz tower gives them a little bit of trouble but gets there just in time with those balloons take it out sexy it's tree stars in the bag for cracker beautiful all right, let's bust one more out here. We're gonna call it a day. Number oh yes, <clears throat> the Flying Dutchman, K Dyke himself. Love this guy. Love his voice, his soothing Dutch voice. Um, so very interesting base. I just wanted to show this because um, you know, speaking of what I was just talking about, how dead Town Hall Nine is. Well, that means you got to get a little creative in your base build. So back in the day, I would have looked at this base and been like, this is a terrible base. But now, now, look at this. You know, four Teslas in the corner, this little troll Teslas. When we were against WHF, um, I had a 99% attack because they put a Tesla and a double giant bomb in the corner. Um, and unfortunately, my queen was way over on this side. Instead of just going up and around, she decided to bust through walls to get back over to it. So it was 99% fail. Um, I had a probably eight or 10 hogs that ran over to that Tesla and all died. And my whole army ended up over here. And like I said, there was even a hole like this in the base, like they could have just went up a bit and cut straight across the base and down to the Teslas. But no, everything over here decided to bust on the walls and then ran out of time. So uh, point being, you gotta get a little creative, right? First, a first defense is huge nowadays. So, a lot of the base building things we're talking about, you should follow those principles, but it doesn't hurt to throw a little trickiness in that's at least going to get you the first defense, right? Because if you can defense one, defend once, uh, that's good these days, right? If you can defend more than once, that's amazing these days, right? So I prefer to try and build bases that I'm trying to get more than one defense out of, right? So when you put all four Teslas in the corner there, I'll trade four balloons for four Teslas any day. Um, so nice and easy trade off for the cleanup makes the cleanup super easy he knows there's no Tesla's in the core here to worry about you can just send these Valks in jumps gonna let them all in has 13 hogs queen walks going fine the no worries whatsoever so you can just send in the hogs from this kind of bottom section here they come a few hogs in there a few hogs are gonna go into that whiz tower a few hogs in on that cannon right just kind of sprinkling them all in like I said there's no real concern over this core whatsoever <clears throat> Valks in helping it out. A few more hogs in. There's that giant, do a little bit of tanking, sends in a few couple hogs on that cannon. There's nothing remaining in this base, right? So, uh, kind of a cool, tricky base idea. Um, you know, with the uh, the quad Tesla in the corner there, but makes it for a very easy cleanup. And I know that was kind of your attention. Look at those swag spells. Did you even use any spells, Kadic? I don't know if you did. Anyways, sexy tree star in the bag for my Dutch friend. I think uh, Kaddick's just been a beast lately, actually. I think he's had, like, out of the last four wars, maybe only missed... Maybe only missed one or two of his three stars. And on top of it, I think this war was the first war his base got tripled on a second hit. Other than that, he's had always, like, three, maybe even four defenses in most wars. Anyways, keep it up, Kaddick. You're a beast. Uh, I'm going to call it a day here, though. So once again, grats to Moral Thieves. Um, just continuing to uh, continue to get some unlucky streaks with 2.0 here. I don't think we won a percentage win. I think this is our fourth or fifth percentage loss over the last couple months. Tough. It's really tough. We're there. We're so close. We're just on the doorstep. You know, obviously we've had a couple blowouts um, that didn't go our way, but uh, we've had many, 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 many now percentage losses, and those hurt, man. Because you're there. It's 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 in in your hands. You just can't quite finish. 
So it's only a matter of time, guys, before uh, we break through. So once again, Moral Thieves Grats, 2.0 family, I love you. Stay positive, guys. We're turning this around. Only a matter of time. So that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.